A cold case murder suspect trying to hide in court. Prosecutors say more than 35 years ago, this Dorchester man stabbed a young mother to death. Now her family is one step closer to justice. I'm Anna Myler. 25 year old Karen Taylor was killed in 1988 in her Roxbury apartment. As WBZ's Penny Commit shows us, DNA was key to cracking this case. Calling Commonwealth first James Holloman. It's a case that's been 36 years in the making. Back in 1988, 25 year old Karen Taylor was found stabbed to death in her Roxbury apartment. The case went cold. Ms. Taylor's three year old daughter answered the phone and told her grandmother that her mother was sleeping and she could not wake her up. At the time, investigators found the DNA of an unknown man underneath Taylor's fingernails. Well, today, over three decades later, that DNA is believed to be a match for 65 year old James Holloman. The Commonwealth is requesting that Mr. Holloman be held without bail. The prosecution's theory came to light last year when they say Holloman's DNA was recovered after he spit on the sidewalk outside of his home. The DNA collected from that saliva not only matches the DNA under Taylor's fingernails, but also a cigarette and a sweatshirt found at the crime scene. Mr. Holloman's YSTR DNA profile was also observed on the sweatshirt sleeve. His YSTR DNA profile was also observed on a cigarette found in Ms. Taylor's bedroom. Holloman, who stayed hidden for most of today's hearing, pleaded not guilty. If convicted, he faces life behind bars. Outside of the courtroom, Holloman's attorney expressed some serious doubt in the prosecution's theory that his client's DNA could be used all these years later to connect him with a murder. That will likely be discussed during his next court appearance, which right now is scheduled for October 29th. In Boston, I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News.